Hello and welcome again to Let's Play Shadows of Balm. This is Policy of Madness. Last time we survived several very dangerous encounters and we finished up the, uh... Is this the third level? Of... Not Watcher's Keep? you up, did I? Uh, no, of course not. Only plainer creatures get summoned. Must be more foolish adventurers. Odrin? Imprisoned one? Those names mean nothing to me. Who you are is not really important anyway. I'm the only one who matters around here. I am Karsten the Magnificent, Lord of the Level! <laughs> Machine of Lum the Mad. The thing about Illithid is that they're fucking cowards. Alright. So, we need to find a place to store some shit. Okay. Then we're going to head back to town, drop off some of our crap. I think we're not going to bother worrying about the long swords plus one that we left behind because, you know, why? <laughs> that was kind of silly for me to even think about caring about that. I don't know what comes over me when I see loot on the ground. I just have to pick it up. Uh, wait a minute. Actually, I don't have to drop anything off. I just need a way for my swords to get un summoned. Then we're going to head back to town. Oh, because there's something on the ground here. Okay.
the... Uh oh, what are these? Double shade. I remember them. Incursus! <laughs> Imperium! <laughs> Incursus! <laughs> Imperium! <laughs> motives in uh, talking about logic the way I have been um, is the knowledge that someone somewhere is going to listen to for example my previous assertion that uh, black people are not inherently more violent than white people <laughs> just for example and uh, say themselves oh, hold up Whenever there is, uh, you know, some kind of crime, and they know yes. uh, who did it, and they uh, uh, show that person's face on television, more often than not, that person's of black. Course. And uh, I'm not going to dispute your perception. <laughs> I would say that your perception is probably not as accurate as you think. Uh, but even if your perception uh, were accurate to reality, that doesn't mean that black people are inherently more violent than white people. That's an example of uh, affirming the consequent, which if you carry it through to its, uh, its proper um, conclusion, uh, winds up being abductive logic. But it's not abductive logic to just, you know, state. that you affirm the consequence. If that's what you want. Yeah, it's Dylan. Who are you? Shit. I think this is the end of the uh, Umar Hills thing at least. Oh, the flood, yeah. Forgot about the flood. Is that all? Is there... is there something you need? Great balls of black flame from her hands and summon demons. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
nothing to it. You come up with an idea that, uh, you know, a hypothesis. Whatever you And your want. hypothesis is that if it were the case that uh, black people were more violent than white people, then you would see them committing crimes and being accused of committing crimes much more frequently than, uh, you know, white people. And then you observe that this is what we see. And so you reach the conclusion that you're correct. Mm. <laughs> That's not actually how it works. You've just affirmed the consequent. Whenever you have some kind of a theory... The trees speak of your presence. Just ask. Whenever you come up with a theory to explain the observation, and then you say, oh, well, you know, this is definitely what I would see if my theory were true. And I, in fact, see that this is the case. That must mean my theory is true. Look, look, look. Look. There, there, there. I shall prevail. I shall prevail. That's affirming the consequence. Incorrect. Yeah, the demon doesn't play nice. What happened to my plane tar? Did my plane tar get uh, into the hostel? I'm gonna be so pissed if that's the case. No. I shall prevail. All right. Tell me all. Nothing to it. Hmm. I'm waiting. You stay behind. Yes. Whatever you want. I shall prevail. 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 I've seen just about enough of you. I shall prevail. 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 into this once in the form of a uh, a guy that I knew who actually said this legitimately like he expected me to actually take this kind of shit seriously he said that uh, and he had learned this I, I discovered later off of David Duke's website now that should tell you right away I shall prevail. That there's stupid shit going on here, okay? Because you're getting this off of the website of an avowed racist. You know, just in case it weren't clear, 
I shall prevail. I shall from, prevail. Uh, the, the facts of the case that this is a racist statement. <laughs> Uh, the context should make it pretty clear that what we're dealing with here is a racist fucking statement. And the statement was this. It was that um, people who uh, move to Chicago or people who live in Chicago uh, kind of self-sort themselves into neighborhoods that are predominantly black and predominantly white. And the, the phrasing that was used was that people naturally gravitate toward others of their own race. Okay, now if it were the case that oh, people did naturally like gravitate toward others of their own race, then this is the kind of sorting that you would see. And so uh, people who uh, come up with this idea no doubt think they're using logic. What they're really doing is just affirming the consequence. They're saying, if this were the case, I would see this. And I do see this. Therefore, this must be the case. You've just affirmed the consequent. That's a logical fallacy. That's a, this, that can be the starting place toward the scientific method. Like I said, the scientific method can, uh, consists of affirming the consequent over and over and over. And each time you affirm the consequent, you take the uh, uh, observations uh, that you make. Oh, that's right. She's going to give me something. You take the observations that you make. Uh, and you uh, adjust yes. your Tell theory or your next it. hypothesis uh, to account for what you found. So the scientific method is con consists of just affirming the consequent over and over. But just because you've affirmed the consequent once doesn't mean you're using the scientific method. And it definitely doesn't mean that you're using logic. Because abductive logic is more than just affirming the consequent a single time. Nothing to it. The trees speak of your presence. All right. So she gave us this item, which we can't use because it can only be used by uh, rangers and, Whatever of course, by thieves who want. have used any item. But it's kind of a shitty summon anyway. It's kind of on par with the hmm. uh, the uh, black spider that we never fucking use. Put a darn as he hold. Is this now off our quest list? Yes, okay. If you say so. I'm waiting. The real story goes like this. If you actually use the actual scientific method, uh, you would say, well, if this were the case, uh, that uh, black people were more violent than white people, of then you would see this effect um, in all black people. I serve this land regardless. Nope. I didn't. Nothing's worse than a cheating kobold. <laughs> Nothing's worse than a cheating kobold. Okay. I think I encounter things worse than a cheating kobold in Watcher's Keep, so fuck you.
Yeah, this is more than we have collected so far from this. We've already spent, we spent, you know, like 2,000 gold, and then we got 1,500 back, and then we got another 500, and then we spent 1,000, uh, and now we're spending 5,000. It's a fucking money pit. Obviously he wasn't because he kept putting off building the fucking dikes. You would expect to see this effect uh, for with with you know everywhere. You'd expect to see this with poor blacks, you'd expect to see this with wealthy blacks, you'd expect to see this with people who live in the inner city, with people who live in the country. You know, if this was actually a genetic effect, like some people try to claim, then you'd see it everywhere. The fact is that you fucking if don't. That's what he because it's not a genetic effect and all claims that it is are racist. What you actually see when you look into these kinds of things Whatever is that uh, people, I guess we should probably check in with the mayor here. Is that all? What you, what you actually see is that uh, violence and uh, crime. To it. Is, there, is there something you need? Okay correlate you very want. strongly with, not with race, but with poverty. It's poverty that causes people to turn to crime. Just ask. There are a lot of uh, questions as to why this might be. For one thing, not all poor people commit crimes. In fact, the vast majority of poor people, the fuck is this? What would you like? Okay. The vast majority of poor people. What is this? Fire resistance. Huh, whatever. Commit no crimes. So, why is it that only some people commit crimes? And another thing about uh, criminal behavior is that. A lot of criminals are actually very hard workers. <laughs> the, um... People who, uh... run drugs. They work very hard in very dangerous conditions. Uh, people think that, you know, selling drugs on the street corner is, you know, uh, something that people do when they're not interested in working. But that is a job. And one of the... and it's a dangerous job. I mean, people die doing that all the time. Uh, and the, uh, one of the conundrums for uh, economics is how do you harness that willingness to work so hard? in extremely dangerous conditions in the formal economy. Why, how, why is it in the informal economy? Why aren't those people working, you know, at legitimate uh, employment? They're obviously not afraid of work. <laughs> they're willing to work very hard uh, and uh, they're willing to take all kinds of risks with their lives and safety. Why aren't they doing it in legitimate employment? And uh, the answer is uh, for is social pressure. Um, a lot of it is racism. Not all of it is racism, though. Classism is uh, another thing. I haven't mentioned classism yet. Classism is, is a privilege 
that uh, doesn't follow the rules of other kinds of privilege. Privilege, uh, if you recall, what I said was it is uh, what happens when uh, certain people are able to do things that everyone ought to be able to do, but not everyone can. And that's true. Um, and for most types of privilege, that's exactly how it works. Uh, class privilege uh, works a little bit differently, and I'll go into more detail on class privilege later and why it's different, how it's different. The short sword plus two is like the holy fucking grail. That didn't destroy it, did it? Okay. There's one in uh, in the first Baldur's Gate, and it's kind of hard to get. It's uh, guarded by a hobgoblin and all his friends, and they're pretty dangerous. Here they're just laying around all over the place. But we know that this this story that uh, that black people are just inherently more violent and more inclined to criminal behavior than white people is fucking bullshit. Because we don't actually see this all the way up and down all. Uh, sections of society. We only see it amongst the poor. And it you know, I could really use some rest. It turns out that uh, poor white people are just as inclined to criminal behavior as poor black people. The reason you see more black people committing crimes than white people is because more black people are poor. And the reason they're poor is because of racism. So you have racism keeping uh, black people poor, and then you have this racist uh, impression as to why they commit crimes. <laughs> you essentially create a problem with racism, and then you use racism to provide an explanation for the, that problem. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly how this works. That's how racism kind of... That's how racism kind of um, reinforces itself. Racism is self-reinforcing. I like the Illithid correspondence because apparently it's been written in several different languages. Why? And then they, they wrote one section of it in common. Why? Uh, the hidden you can run into in a uh, quest uh, from uh, Yawn. What's this? So just in case you couldn't fi figure it out, here's, here's your clue. The Betrayal of the Knights of the Vigil for his predicament. This, again, this, this, we've got two different time frames going on here. One time frame is like 20 years ago. And the other time frame is, uh, you know, this looks like uh, probably decades ago. And, and other things talk about a thousand years ago. It's just not not at all clear. This is all trash now. This is how racism reinforces itself. Uh, we'll go ahead. And
ahead and keep these. These are actually worth a good bit of money. Now this makes for a really nice uh, little summon, and uh, maybe we'll go ahead and carry it. It's very short-lived, but kind of tough. Whatever you want. It's on the list. Before we go back to Watcher's Keep, if you say so, because I actually kind of want to uh, hmm. I'm waiting. do all that uh, thing in one go. Of course. Let's do this yes. um, this quest here. We'll find something to keep ourselves busy. We'll do the entire next level of Watcher's Keep, and probably next time, do it all in one go. This we have to be really if careful because we don't want to accidentally <coughs> accept the. Paladin stronghold because <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Whatever you desire. So you come in here and I don't even know what this is. What are these things? Benches? They don't really look about, like benches. Looks very dank and dismal. You have to go through another door to find the actual, the actual uh, temple or whatever you call this place. If we were to accept this stronghold, we would have uh, rooms in here. I think it would actually be one of these rooms. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Where would we be able to store our shit? Not clear to me. Where would we be storing our shit? <laughs> That's one of the whole points of a stronghold, is you have some place to store your shit. Okay, whatever. We don't want to talk to the prelate. So Ryan Troll has nothing to say to me? Greetings. Oh. I would like to offer you the opportunity to help the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. Are you interested in hearing my proposal? Twisting their paladin hood to serve their own purpose. It just looks like he was just a terrible person. I don't see how his paladin hood assisted him in smuggling slaves. I don't like where this is going. Goodbye! So you owe something to the Shadow Thieves? Okay. Is that all? The 
business with uh, segregated neighborhoods is very similar. Uh, if you took the entire United States and you just kind of shook it up, you know, like a box of marbles, mm -hmm. and people yeah. ended up uh, in all kinds of different places. Honorable men are hard to come by. I don't know, they're supposed to be... Are they supposed to be celibate? I mean, Keldorn's not, he's married. Smuggler, let's kill the smuggler. Pick up so long. Okay. What you would find would be that uh, some people have more money than others, and the, those people would quickly move. Whatever you tell me all about. Oops, it. Need to be invisible. Those people would quickly move to. Hmm. Uh, the uh, more desirable neighborhoods. People who don't have very much money would soon find themselves unable to afford to live in the more affluent neighborhoods and would be forced to move to the poorer neighborhoods. What would you like? And if the people who are poor are predominantly black and the people who are wealthy are predominantly white, then you'll end up with segregated neighborhoods. Again. Greetings. Why does he keep not having anything to say to me until I talk, talk to him a second time? That's weird. We also have a uh, Whatever you want. phenomenon called steering. Steering is when you go to a realtor and you ask them to show you some houses and the realtor In shows you houses that are um, In in neighborhoods that match your uh, perceived uh, racial affiliation. In <laughs> now steering is actually illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they can see it. Those ones. 
steering is illegal, but it still happens. Vita. This is weird. Don't even know why those exist. is illegal but it still happens. Uh, sometimes it seems anyway uh, that it happens by accident uh, or that the realtor doesn't really realize what he or she is doing. That essentially uh, they're steering people subconsciously. They don't really intend to steer people. Um, they're just matching what people look like with what uh, the realtor thinks uh, someone of that uh, type uh, is going to want. Uh, other times it's uh, more blatant. Uh, it's more clear that it's not accidental, but it's still uh, uh, kind of covert the way that it's done. Uh, one of the ways that steering occurs is people, it's, it's done in code. People will ask, how are the schools? And if uh, it's a black neighborhood and uh, the realtor is talking to a white person, they will say that those are not very good schools. Or they'll talk to, the, they'll, they'll steer them toward a white uh, neighborhood by saying these, this neighborhood has great schools. Yes. Yeah. Tell me all about it. Steering is the reason why it is uh, when if you ask a, a realtor, uh, you know, for recommendations about the neighborhood, or uh, even Not nowadays if you ask them for information about the schools, they'll refuse to tell you because these kinds of uh, things Whatever have been used to steer want. people in the past, and steering is fucking illegal. So between a combination of steering, whether deliberate or otherwise, and uh, people just not having enough money to live in any neighborhood they choose. I mean, when, when you say that people are just naturally drawn toward um, a particular uh, racial group, you know, people are just naturally inclined to be with their own kind, so to speak. Uh, what you're saying is that uh, these people could choose to live anywhere that they want to and are purposefully choosing to live in predominantly black neighborhoods. And the fact is that this is usually just not the case. People who are poor uh, have to live in poor neighborhoods. They have to live in places where the cost of living is low. Nothing to it. Greetings. Okay. And when you have uh, people who are uh, segregated by race on the socioeconomic scale, then you're going to end up with so uh, segregated neighborhoods. And there's nothing logical about making up a story about why this is that ignores the reality of why this is. You know, this is the case for reasons. The reasons are knowable. Of course. Why did I come here? Oh. Because I need to get rid of this. And if you just invent a story for yourself that sounds great, that's that satisfies you, you uh, that nevertheless bears very little, um, relation to reality, you're not actually using logic. 
You're not even using abductive logic. You're just not using logic at all. Whatever you desire. And the only reason why anybody would take you seriously as a logic using individual is if you have the certain types of privilege, just like Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins has certain types of privilege. And as a consequence, he can say he's being logical and people will just believe him. Uh, so next time we're going to do this next level of Watcher's Keep. This is not nearly as hard as the last one because we're able to use magic all the way around. And I think there's very little on this level that can see invisible. So uh, join me then. Later.